Well, hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're doing a rolling stock review on the 68 foot railgun gondola from Walther's Mainline. Now, these are some budget friendly rolling stock pieces that are modern day for present day layouts. So, let's take a look at what you get in the box next. All right, I'm just gonna open one of the four of these. This is gonna be a really quick rolling stock review. You have a plastic blister packaging. I don't see any paperwork, and you know, that does not bother me one bit. I like a new paperwork. Makes it easier to run long consists and get those in and out of boxes. So let's see what you get in the rail gun a little closer. All right, again, Walther's mainline is more budget friendly than detail oriented. So the details are going to be a little basic on here, but you got a plastic coupler. You've got grab irons. Looks like they may be uh, still separately applied. They might be molded in, but it looks like they're separately applied right there on the right. All these little areas for crew access. The FRA, Reflective striping, even though it's not reflective. I really haven't seen any models with it reflective, but you've got the ribbing here on the side of the car, the gondola, and the load limit and road number is all legible. As you can see when we zoom in, you can still read all of that. So even though it's budget friendly, the print is very much on point. You still have openings through the other side. You can see right here. So there's like a little perforation or openings in the well car there. I don't remember what that does on the prototype, but they're there on the model. TTX logo, you know, everything TTX is really a big deal now, but you do still get metal wheels. And there are separately applied grab irons, it appears, on this side. So, you know, oh wait, nope, they're molded, it looks like. Looks like they're molded in, but they do a really good job at tricking the eye on those. See, you don't really get that angle until right about sideways on these. So, you still get a brake wheel and brake chain going down to a crossover platform above the coupler. And more of the same detail on the other side. We'll show you the bottom real quick. Do have some brake line rigging and underbody detail including the structural support there underneath and you can see the underside of the trucks and those metal wheels the car is nine and a quarter inches long the NMRA standards say that you get an initial ounce plus a half ounce per additional inch length of car so these should be about 5.5 or more ounces and they're 3.7, so they do not uh, actually weigh in as the NMRA standards, but they're also gondolas, so you can add weight with the load as well on that. Um, that means probably being light, you know, it could have some problems through some switches, but probably not with these nice metal wheels that are in NMRA standards. I did check those off screen. And we're looking a little closer here at this. They glide very easily. And... There is no body wobble to them. Coupler height was on point on these as well, so the only NMRA compliance issue was the weight. And, you know, there's debate on well cars and empty loaded gondolas on whether, you know, you're supposed to have the actual weight on the NMRA or not. People can chime in if they know about that. But that is it for the Walther's mainline gondola here. Again, a 68-foot railgun gondola. And it comes in multiple different road numbers and schemes. I just like the TTX. So that's what I got. Four of. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time right here on the channel. Take care.